When you think of a typical car salesman, you picture a guy with clowns on his tie, a plaid jacket, and orange pants trying to sell you something you don't want. But there's a way to sell cars with a little class, dignity, and style, and for big bucks. This guy has got it down, and his ride of choice is the Aston Martin. There really is no other feeling in the world. It feels very, very expensive. The quality all around you. It's not an experience that you ever take for granted. What's this guy talking about? A swank resort? A hundred-year-old bottle of wine? A fine watch? Nope. In this case, these words are coming from an unlikely place. A car salesman. The brand manager for Aston Martin, Stuart McIntosh. It's a very, very intimate process. There is a definite showman side to, to somebody in my position doing their job. And where do all these high-end deals go down? Well, on the outside, it's LA's sprawling Galpin Automotive Empire, one of the world's largest car dealerships. Looks humongous, but fairly traditional, right? But wait till you get inside. This is like a giant rocket ship. Josh Max, welcome to Club Aston. Thanks, Stuart. It's like, get smart. High it's atop their through. luxury car building is Stuart's inner sanctum. Whoa. Club Aston. You really went all out, didn't you? <laughs> this is where clients are given the first class red carpet treatment. It's not designed like any other car showroom on the planet. Over here, we have our, our lounge area. Anybody ever faint when you tell them what the sticker is? Is that what have this here too? This is, uh, this is the reason why we have the cushions, in case they do fall over. OK. Stuart has a pretty serious job. Josh, take a seat at the bar. He needs to convince customers to spend about a quarter of a million dollars, the price of a house, on a new car. We start off with the body color first. To do it takes some special tools and a style that rivals Aston Martin's famous driver, Bond. James Bond. What's the most popular color? Tungsten silver here, carbon black. I like the black stealth fighter in the night. Matches my shirt. And what about the cars? <gasps> well, talk about putting them on a pedestal. My, 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 my. What do we have here? This is Aston Martin's V8 Vantage S. You might consider it their starter model, their gateway drug, if you will. It's 4.7 liter, eight cylinder engine that now puts out 430 horsepower. And it gets you going more than 180 miles per hour. Aston Martin has a swan wing door system. As you open it, it rises on a 12 degree angle, so you never hit the curb. This feels really good. What's the sticker? On this one is 169,000 before tax. I'll take it. Very impressive ride, right? But wait, there's more. So you got this wall-sized vault here. What's behind the vault? Is that where you keep all the money? Is that where you keep customers that won't buy? Behind our vault door here. This is where Stewart keeps his creme de la creme. Two cars that truly represent the exclusivity of the Aston Martin brand. First, the Rapide. That means fast in French. Price point on this one, $220,000. It's a four-door, 12-cylinder monster that tops out at 186 miles per hour. This is what Aston Martin considers a family car. You put some guitars back there, too. You could put some guitars back there. And golf clubs, if you so Golf inclined. clubs and suitcases. Load of wood, if you want. You could. Home Depot. Yep. But probably not. There is one more thing I can show you. The brand new 2012 Aston Martin DBS Coupe. Sticker on this car is 292,000. Using different air induction above 4,000 RPM pushes the horsepower number to 510 horsepower. My kind of car. And James Bond's too. Can I take it for a ride? I think we can organize that for you. Laser etched wings on the bottom of the sapphire. This is a key. All the way down. the sound. I've test driven seven Aston Martins and even toured their factory in Gaydon, England. Yeah, yeah. Their exhaust notes are among the most recognizable in the world. That makes my heart go boom, 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 boom. And what does it feel like to drive? 
when it comes to this light, I'm going to get into the paddles and see if I can get more power. Absolutely. I'd recommend jumping in and using that sport button to now punch it. The best comparison is to a missile with four tires and a steering wheel. Yeah, I'm in third gear now. It feels like I could, I could go really blast it out if I wanted to. Absolutely. Like this. The combination of brutal power and British style makes the DBS an uncommonly satisfying drive out, boy. Wow, 50 feels like nothing. <laughs> it's got a lovely beat to it, isn't it? What a ride, and what a time with the James Bond of car salesman, Stuart McIntosh. Has this guy got the life? And no pressure to buy, either. Or so I thought. Stuart, thanks so much for the ride. I really appreciate it. It was a blast. Wonderful, but not so fast. What do you think? You want me to spend $300,000 on this car? Why not? You got a deal, pal. I'm just going to find a cash machine. I'll be right back. Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>